My name is Matthew Cole. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I've been asked to tell you a miracle. And the miracle that I'd like to share with you, or several of them, are when I was a seventh grader uh, in junior high, uh, my family lived on a farm outside of Denton, Texas, and uh, we had picked up a mutt off, uh, for, actually was given to us, and we were uh, loved this dog very much. His name was Mr. Squats. He was a very short, squatty little dog, and he had short little feet. And uh, one day he disappeared. And being living, you know, 15 miles out of town, we didn't know if he'd been eaten by the coyotes or taken off by somebody. Um, but about six weeks later, I was sitting in a geometry class, Mrs. Scott's uh, geometry class, on the second story of Congress Junior High. And uh, uh, it was a very hot day. And I remember this commotion in the front of the room when this dog walked into the classroom and it happened to be Mr. Squats. And we redeemed him and took him home. And I thought that was very ironical that a dog that disappeared out of town would show up in, at my junior high and be on the second floor of a building. So he had to c climb the stairs in order to get to that room. So I consider that a miracle. Mm -hmm. Another miracle I had, I was 26 years old and I was working out at my office building. We had a uh, room downstairs that we could all work, in, work out in, but it had no attendants. And I was working out there one night and uh, I was on a machine doing some squats and I hurt my back. And I didn't think it was very dramatic or very, uh, didn't think it would hurt me that much. So I went and proceeded to uh, get into the shower and, and clean up. And as soon as the hot water hit my back, <laughs> my phone went off. And I turned it off. I turned it off. Mine is on. I have it turned on. That's, that's, that's twice. He, he, that's he, twice. He's uh, obviously dyslexic. And I heard bells from heaven. It was a miracle. I'm so bad at this. That gentleman before was so good. He was just very to the point. Oh, you're amazing. I was working out in a health club, but that was an, an unintended health club. And I uh, had hurt myself and got in the shower. And when the hot water hit my back, it caused uh, the muscles to torque my spine. And I immediately lost feeling in my legs. And I proceeded to fall to the floor of the shower. And in, uh, in so doing, I put my arms out. <laughs> I, just, I, I'm t I just don't know how to work it. Turn it off. I did. I turned it off. I swear. It's powering down. It's got amazing mode. Like, like a vibration. The miracle is I can get through this interview without Dr. Tom's phone ringing. It's not. Okay, it's off now. I, I swear it's off now. It's, it's dark. The screen Just is Just leave dark. it open. Just like that. Yeah, I'm leaving it open. Just leave it open. Just leave it open. Just leave it open. Just leave it you're gonna have to edit this a lot, aren't you? <laughs> God is calling. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, hi, That's what I was gonna ask you. Yeah. What is the message for you? Yeah. I have lots of miracles. They all deal with health things. Anyway, I was working out in this health club that was unattended, and I'd hurt my back on a squat machine. And when I got in the shower, and the hot water hit my back, it caused my spine to torque, and I proceeded to fall to the floor of the sh shower stall. And in so doing, I threw out my arms to stop myself, and both of my elbows went through the tile, and I fell to the floor, pulling all the tile and all the sheetrock onto me. And uh, the excruciating pain that followed, I cannot even uh, imagine telling you how bad it was. So I reached up and grabbed the uh, faucet handle to pull myself up. Uh, it was quite comical. I was there alone. I was totally naked. I was covered in mortar and sheetrock dust. Uh, I proceeded to get out of the shower, but I could not move. I was in so much pain and my body was just shaking. I was in so much pain. I proceeded to uh, get the towel wrapped around me and I walked into the area where my clothes were in a locker and I thought if I could only lay down, maybe the pain would go away. Mm -hmm. That was a almost a fatal mistake. I got on the floor and then I couldn't get up. And I lay there from six o'clock in the evening until about nine. And I had turned the music up real loud because I was there alone working out and the music was so blaring and the lights were so bright, I thought, I can't lay here all that long. I won't be able to sleep. And at this time, I was losing feeling in my legs and they were tingling. And uh, I was doing a lot of praying. Mm -hmm. And uh, 